Hey everybody, Dan Cavallari, Dawn Patrol MTB, and we are out here in Moab doing some gear testing. I have been riding this Alchemy Arctos uh, for a couple days now, and I've got a lot of opinions about this one. It's a very cool bike. Uh, quick, let's run through the specs. Now this is outfitted in full Shimano XT that includes the hydraulic disc brakes uh, and the 11-speed uh, drivetrain. Uh, it's spec'd with Fox 36 fork and a Fox DPX2 uh, factory float uh, rear shock. Now this has, this is set up for 135 millimeters of travel. One of the cool things about the Arctos is that you can actually buy an upgrade kit. You flip the chip here and you get in the upgrade kit another fork and a shock and you can actually upgrade this to 150 in the rear uh, and I believe it's 170 up front. So the idea here is you can make it a trail bike, an enduro bike, you can even go down to the 135 spec or excuse me, the 120 spec and make it a downcountry bike. So pretty versatile. And we're going to cover that in a different video because what we want to do is see exactly how easy it is to, to move between the different uh, kits and settings. That aside, uh, let's talk a little bit about what this bike is set up for now. So clearly with the Enduro S uh, wheels from Industry 9 uh, and, and all, all of the, uh, the heavy duty tires and all this, this is meant to be a pretty rowdy bike and Moab is a great place to test rowdy. So uh, it's set up for that. And of course you could, you could make the change and take it even somewhere even rowdier. Like if you want to do lift service, for example, like I would take this to uh, winter park to do some lift service uh, with the longer travel kit on it. As it is now, uh, we tested this uh, yesterday in this configuration. So the, the question is, is it pedalable and does it get as rowdy as it looks like it should? Uh, and the answer to both questions is absolutely yes. It, it actually is very pedalable, feels uh, sort of, it's, it's not gonna be as responsive as something like a down country or a cross country bike, but you could pedal this all day out here in Moab on all these trails and it is perfectly suited for those quick punchy ups, uh, at, you know, on a long grinded out climb, you're going to feel a little bit of a lag because some, some of the, the geometry choices here, but largely this is a very versatile bike in this particular setup. Uh, I did find uh, a small bit of rear wheel wander uh, as I was uh, descending. I don't exactly know where that was coming from. Um, it doesn't feel like there's any movement in the rear suspension. Don't think that was it. I think it was just sort of coming from a different bike that I have uh, that's a little bit tighter rear end that maybe is a little bit more flickable, uh, maybe a little bit tighter wheelbase. So I felt a little bit more monster trucky on this one. I could basically steamroll over everything, uh, but really hammering into corners, it felt a little bit of, I felt a little bit of a wander. That could be tire pressure. I mean, there's a million things it could be. Uh, so I think with a little bit more tinkering, I could solve that problem. Uh, I also had quite a few pedal strikes on this bike, which uh, caused me to crash at one point. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm still trying to think if that's a combination of a wide pedal platform, maybe a wide Q factor. Uh, I don't think it's a bottom bracket height issue. This has a fairly high bottom bracket. Uh, interestingly enough, the other tester, Matt Hayes, he was riding this bike and he said, this is crazy. I haven't had any pedal strikes today. So, you know, again, it depends on riding style. I might've had my suspension maybe set a little too soft, which caused a little more sag. Again, that really just goes back to ensuring that you get the absolute perfect setup for your suspension. Uh, I did not dial it in quite that tightly and I probably should have. That's sort of one of the things you deal with when you're testing eight bikes out here. <laughs> but largely, what I really like about this bike is that it is versatile, uh, assuming that the, the conversion between the two travels is, is easy and quick to do. Uh, and it just absolutely slays. You can really uh, uh, rail trails with this. It is just a steamroller. It's a monster truck. Um, getting the front wheel off the ground is gonna take a little bit more of your uh, upper body muscle, uh, but that's the nature of the beast with a slack head tube angle like this, especially something that's uh, really, I think is gonna shine when I do get that longer travel kit on it. So uh, overall, I had a blast on the Arctoast. Um, this is a really wonderful build. I have a lot of experience with this float DPX2 shock and I've been very pleased with it. Uh, so I think the combination here of a smart spec, some versatility, and really just a fun steamrolling ride, if that's what you're looking for, that's it. If you're looking for something flickable that's a little bit more responsive that you can, you know, kind of kick out a little bit on, on, on uh, off of rocks and such like that, you probably want something uh, a little bit maybe tighter geometry, um, and a little bit less wander in the rear, but 
overall, I'm pretty happy with this bike, uh, especially on rough, rowdy trails like they, ha they have out here in Moab. Might be overkill for your local trails if they're not that super chunky, uh, rocky type of terrain. Uh, you could probably go down to the, the 120 spec of this uh, and, and just get a little bit less travel and uh, more of an XC-ish ride. Uh, but I'm interested to see what it's like with the, the upgrade kit. We'll report back on that. Overall, I'm giving this one two thumbs up. Uh, I think this is a really great bike from a great company that's doing some interesting things. Uh, and yeah, I think that's, that's your Alchemy Arctos rundown in just a few minutes. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Dawn Patrol MTB. And of course, go check out DawnPatrolMTB.com to see all the other great content that we're doing uh, over there. Bike reviews, gear reviews, all the other storytelling uh, and, and great reporting that we're doing over there.